Hey, what's up everybody? Snoopaloop7 here with a little bit different video than normal. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about jump shotting. Different ways you can jump shot, how to jump shot, when to do it, stuff like that. The gameplay you're seeing is a hard point match where I was trying to jump shot a little bit more than usual. And there's also a couple clips at the end uh, to show you ways that it works in game. So you can see some of the situations where it may work better than others. Because it won't work 100% of the time, nothing will, but it can be very effective and it's a tactic that has gotten increasingly popular. Now I think part of the reason for that is because drop shotting got somewhat of a nerf. Drop shotting used to be the thing that everybody did, but now when you drop shot, even if you're aimed down sight, your bullets still have the same spread as a hip fire, and this makes it less accurate. However, if you ADS while jump shotting, it'll keep the spread tight like it's supposed to. Now obviously they can each be used depending on the situation, but I still think it's played a role in the increase of jump shotters. Not only that, but scuff controllers have played a role as well. And as you know, scuff controllers have those paddles on the back that allow you to jump without having to take your thumb off the right analog stick, aka your aiming stick. And this allows people to make their character a tough to hit moving target while still being able to ADS and be accurate with their own shot. And what makes someone jump shotting hard to hit is instead of just moving left or right, they move either left or right and up and down. So even for skilled players, it can be tough to get on target. So scuff controllers make it a lot easier to jump shot. But if you don't have a scuff controller, and I know a lot of people don't because they're pretty expensive, it can make jump shotting a little bit more difficult. Now one way you can jump and keep your thumb on the analog stick is to use the claw grip. And what this is, is just a certain way of holding the controller. If you want to see what it actually looks like, there's plenty of videos on YouTube. Uh, you can just type in claw grip, and people holding a controller will pop up. But what you do is basically you take your index finger, which is your pointer finger, and you put it over the A, B, X, Y buttons on your Xbox, or X, O, square, triangle on PS3. And you use your pointer finger to press A instead of your thumb, and you use your middle finger uh, as your trigger finger to shoot. This can be very effective, however from my experience it makes holding the controller a little bit awkward and if you've never done it before it can take a while to get used to. So I don't personally use that method but you can look into it and try it if you like. So now for how I try to jump shot around corners and stuff and this is with a regular controller with a regular grip and it's really all about setting up the shot before you take it. The first thing I try to do is make sure that my gun is pointed at the correct height. I want it to be so that if I were to ADS at a player about 5 or 10 feet in front of me, my gun would be at about the player's stomach. That way when I jump, my aim won't start off too high or too low. Also, you want to be slightly angled towards the side you're going to be looking when you jump. So if you're going to be jumping around to the right, you want to already be slightly looking in that direction. Because what you don't want to do is jump looking straight forward and then have to turn a full 90 degrees to the side to get on target. That's just going to make you slower and you're more likely to die. The next thing to remember is the timing of the jump. When jumping through a doorway or around a corner, you want to try and press the A button right before you turn the corner because you want to already be in the air when you come into the enemy's line of sight. Because if you press it too late, they may start getting shots on you before you even jump. And if you press it too early, you're just going to end up jumping only like a foot into the doorway. And if you do that, you're no longer going to be a moving target. Now, immediately after tapping the A button, you want to get your thumb back to the aiming stick as fast as possible without accidentally jolting it out of position. Because what your goal should be is to lock on target and start shooting them while you're still in the air. Also remember that if you're sprinting before you jump, you're going to be able to move faster and further, making it even more difficult for the enemy to hit you. Now, if you've never done any type of jump shot before, it may be a little bit difficult when you first start because it takes a lot of good timing and good accuracy in the air to get it right. So I would definitely suggest practicing it in a custom game against recruit level bots. That way you can practice the timing of pressing the A button and aiming while in the air without having to have your online stats suffer. And once you get used to that stuff, you can start using it in an actual game. So those are my personal tips for jump shotting without a scuff controller. If you have any other tips or another way of doing it, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like rating, hopefully you learned something new, and don't forget to check out my other Call of Duty videos. Take a look around if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe.
and until next time, peace out.